Hey YouTubers, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video uh, just to share a few of the recent vinyl finds that I've gotten this week. And uh, actually not everything, but what I'm going to share is mainly stuff that I found at a Goodwill or in dollar bins this past week. And I'm doing that because I was just having a conversation with someone here online a few minutes ago, and they were kind of asking me, um, you know, I've heard you mention Goodwills and stuff like that, but really how much stuff do you find there? Do you really find stuff in, in dollar bins and that type of thing? So um, I just thought, well, I'll just do a quick video just to show what I found in the past week or so. And, you know, I would say with all the albums that I've got here, I probably spent maybe 12 bucks or something like that this past week on on this vinyl. So, um, as always, I'll just show you what I got and let me know what you guys think. And actually, before I get started, this was playing in the background, the Melvin Houdini, which is definitely my favorite album by them. I love that album cover with the two-headed dog. It's kind of cool. But, uh, so that's the Melvins. So anyway, on to the vinyl. And actually, I should make a exclusion here. These first two albums were not included as part of the dollar bin stuff that, that I got. So the first one here, which was uh, Julian Plenty. Uh, Julian Plenty, this is Skyscraper. This is an album that, actually, I still picked up at a pretty good price, because normally this runs about 20 bucks, and I got it for $6 out of a clearance bin at a local store. And I never really heard of him, but I thought, or didn't really know this album, I should say. But I kind of thought, you know, for six bucks, I'll buy it. Worst case scenario, I hate it, and I sell it on eBay. Probably make a profit off of it. Or I'll trade it to someone here in the community that might love it and, you know, kind of go from there. But I ended up loving it. Some really good stuff on here. So uh, this wasn't part of the dollar bin, fine, but still, the $20 album for six bucks. So that's kind of nice. It's a good album, too. The other one here, I got for absolutely free. And the reason for that was because of the generosity of one of my pals on here, uh, Corn Kid. Um, I've, I've actually been communicating with him for some time. He was, actually I know this for a fact, he was the first person that I really ever spoke to in the vinyl community here on, on YouTube. It wasn't even really a community at that point in time. Uh, he was the first person to tell me, nice collection. So, uh... You know, he and I go way back in terms of when I first came to YouTube. And he sent me this the other day. Again, didn't ask anything for return, but just knew I was a huge Disturbed fan. And he sent me this 7-inch picture disc of Inside the Fire on the A side and Perfect Insanity on the B side. It's just a really nice little 7-inch picture disc, which uh, I really appreciate. I mean, that was just something he just offered and... So you know how much I love them, so I really appreciate that, man. Um, you know, if there's ever, ever anything I can do for you, always let me know. And like I said, you know, we've been chatting on here for dang near a couple of years now, it seems like. We're pushing that at least, so uh, I appreciate that a lot. Thanks, man. So let me kind of get into now to all the dollar bin Goodwill stuff that I found. So most of these albums were, you know, either a dollar or 50 cents. But some really good stuff in here. Number one... Tommy James and the Shondells. This is Hanky Panky. I really like this album because it has the song Sam I Am. Or I'm sorry, Say I Am. Sam I Am. <laughs> with green eggs and ham here. Uh, Say I Am, which is a really cool song because it's more or less Hang On Sloopy. I mean, the, the, ba the bass line of the song is the exact same thing. And Hang On Sloopy happens to be one of my favorite garage rock songs of all time. So that alone is just something that makes this a, a great album to me. And there's a lot of other good stuff on here as well, but so I was really happy to find that one. This is a group that I was not very familiar with, but I pulled out one of their albums when I was at the store and took a listen and really liked it, so I figured they have all these at such a cheap price, I'm going to go ahead and pick, pick them all up. And the group is Steel Eye Span. So I don't know if you guys have heard of them before or not, but I picked up Steel Eye Span, S-P-A-N, -S Span. Steel Eye Span, this is back in line from 1986. This is, love that part. <laughs> this is a Steel Eye Span Live at Last. It's kind of a, a live album. 
Steel Eyes Spain. I guess it's just kind of a self-titled album. And then uh, Steel Eyes Spain, Commoner's Crown. And again, it's a band I wasn't very familiar with. And um, I think this is the album I actually listened to when I was in the store. But what it really amounts to is they're kind of like a um, flower power type band, but really with their foundation coming from polka and Celtic type music. And there's a very, very strong influence that some of the songs are just really nothing but polka or, or Celtic music. But uh, again, it's the band I never heard of, and I really like, like their stuff, so it was kind of nice to not only get introduced to a new band, but to be able to get, you know, four pieces in my collection just kind of right away. So that was kind of nice too, but so that's a new artist for me. This one is Love Song, Final Touch, another really good album. There's two or three songs on here that I really like a lot. One being Living Water, which is a really good song. This is a great find. I mean, one reason why I visit Goodwills on a regular basis, Brooke Benton, Things, you know, 50 cents for this record, which was, I mean, just a great, great find. Uh, it has Brooke Benton Sings on side one, and then Charlie Francis and his group on side two, so it's kind of a two-artist LP. Um, and again, I mean, it's just almost in mint conditions, really, really good condition. And if you're not very familiar with Brooke Benton, at least on, on this album, Brooke Benton Sings, if you kind of take Jackie Wilson and... Just kind of ease Jackie up a little bit, almost like Jackie was moving towards easy listening, but not going like, you know, Tony Bennett or whatever type easy listening, but uh, just like Jackie Wilson going towards the easy listening feel, that's kind of what you get from, from Brooke, Brooke Benton, that's kind of what you hear. So, just to give you somewhat of an idea, but that was, a, again, 50 cents, that's a great find. This is an oldie but goodie for me, Dr. Hook, Pleasure and Pain. Again, another really good find there. This is one of those albums that has songs on it that I rem remember from my childhood, really in bits and pieces, where I kind of remember some of the lyrics and the hook of the song from way back when I was a kid, but never really knew who sang it and all that stuff. But uh, those, those two songs in this album, Sharing the Night Together and When You're in Love with a Beautiful Woman, you know, those are songs just from way back. So <laughs> it was kind of nice to actually stumble across that and get that in my collection. Next one here, Bob James, Hands Down. Not sure if you guys are familiar with him or not, but with this particular album, uh, again, the easiest way to describe it, it's definitely a jazz album, uh, kind of synthesizer jazz. So that's kind of, I guess, what he plays in, in this. Um, and I guess kind of hence why he would use x-rays of the hands to kind of do the album cover here, but it really is kind of a cool gatefold, too. I have this one out of the sleeve, because you know it kind of has the whole anatomy type thing inside of there going with the, the x-rays on the outside, so, you know, hands down, jazz, the whole nine, it's just kind of an overall good, good concept on the album cover. I really kind of like this, so. Moving right along, Red Rockers. If you're not familiar with these guys, from 1984, I believe, this is Schizophrenic Circus. And they were more or less just kind of a, a new, new wave is kind of what you're looking at there. I mean, they got a little bit softer sometimes, but for the most part, it's just kind of a, another one of those new wave bands that was out there. And something else I've picked up quite a few of over the past few months has been uh, compilations, a number of those. And here's a couple more that I picked up. Dancing Madness. This has a lot of good stuff on there, but the one that I was the song that I was really happy to get on here is a song Juicy Fruit by M to Me or M M to Me. If you remember that name, I showed an M to Me album with the uh, my R and B and some of my R and B stuff I showed in a recent video, and I talked about the song Juicy Fruit. Well, that's definitely my favorite song by them, but the album version of Juicy Fruit obviously is the album version, and I've always liked the video version better. And the video version is actually on this album. So I was really happy to, to stumble across that. So that was kind of nice. Next compilation here is Made in America, Our Greatest Rock Anthems. And just a number of good hits on here. I mean, Barracuda by Heart, Burning for You by Blue Oyster Cult, Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac, Renegade by The Sticks, Free Bird by Lena Skinner, 
uh, Slow Ride by Fog Hat, Carry On, Wayward Son by Kansas. I mean, just, you know, all, all your good stuff there. And so I'm really starting to like these compilation albums because, as I mentioned a few videos ago, I tend to be a flipper when it comes to listening to music. And this is kind of a good way to allow yourself to flip without having to actually flip the album. So I'm really starting to take to these, these compilation albums. And here's another one I got at the Goodwill, 50 Cents. 2 LP set, 24 of the year's best original hits from 1979. And you know, you're talking about your... Al Stewart, The Babies, Little River Band, Blondie, Hot Chocolate. I mean, it's all that cheesy stuff from the late 70s going into the early 80s that I love. So, really good 2LP set. Traffic on the Road, 2LP Live album from Traffic. Go back to good old Winwood back in the early days. And Elton John LP I hadn't gotten my hands on yet, Tumbleweed Connection. You have Love Song on this album, which is really good. I love that album cover, too. It's pretty cool. Now, the, the last four albums I'm going to show here, uh, these are the ones that make people laugh at me, but it's also kind of the ones that makes my collection my collection. So, as I've always said, no matter how cheesy something is, if it gives me a goose bump when I hear it, I buy it. And so that holds true for these next four albums. Number one, Sha Na Na. This is Shaboom. And this is actually a really good album. You know, this album, especially Side One, it's not your typical Sha Na Na. You know, it's not your, uh, you know, at the hop where they're running around stage doing their arms like this for 20 minutes. You know, that whole whatever wacky thing they do, like their gold suits at, uh, at Woodstock or whatever. But really, the first side of this album really kind of shows the type of musicians that they are and the fact that they can actually sing and they can play and if they wanted to, they could make serious music. So uh, that was one nice thing about this album. I mean, of course, it does have Shaboom and Breaking Up is Hard to Do and a cover of Runaway and all that, too. So, which is also good Sha Na Na stuff. Don't get me wrong. That's what, I mean, that's what Sha Na Na is. So I was happy to get that. Okay, go ahead and laugh at me, guys. These next three are really going get, to get me. Um, I actually got this one for free. The guy threw it in with some of the ones I bought out of the dollar bin, which is Bonnie Raitt, Nine Lives. I do love that cover, too. It's kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of hers, but the song No Way to Treat a Lady, which I think she did with Brian Adams, is a song that I've always kind of liked a little bit, so it's that cheesy 80s stuff again. So I was happy to get that. And again, for free, you can't really, can't really beat that. Now, these next two, I know I'm going to get drilled on, but uh, again, when I hear it, I like it, so it goes in my collection. Dolly Parton, 9 to 5, Odd Jobs. 50 cents at the Goodwill. Mint condition. Absolutely love it. <laughs> There's some, some you know, good cheesy stuff on there. And I, you know, song 9 to 5, it cracks me up. So, there's Dolly. And then the last one here, the only thing better than Dolly Parton 9 to 5 would be Dolly Parton's Greatest Hits. It's back from my 1982. And, and again, you know, the song 9 to 5 is on here too. But uh, two other songs are on it which I really, really like. Here You Come Again, I've always thought that was a great Dolly Parton song. Um, I Will Always Love You. I can't really say I like that song. You know, Whitney Houston drove it into the ground, and it's just kind of even... That's almost so cheesy, I can't handle it. But still, she wrote it. I give her credit for it. It has been a classic song over time. But the song uh, Hard Candy Christmas, love that song to death. That song was actually in the movie um, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, and... You know, I remember from the time when I was a child, and I never really saw that movie all the way through, but I do remember that song, and I remember how it, it gave me chills back then. There was just something about it, and I still love it today. So, again, if I have to buy Dolly Parton's Greatest Hits to get that in my collection, which I really don't, because I already had Best Little Whorehouse in Texas soundtrack, but still, uh, I don't mind bringing a little Dolly <laughs> into my collection. So, anyway... Uh, I'll make another video pretty soon. Like I said, I have some other new stuff that I got that I didn't show here. This was all kind of dollar bin stuff. I have a few things on the way in the mail, which are kind of nice, of one of which is probably like a uh, what I would consider to be a top ten piece in my collection. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, as always, I'll share that stuff when it comes in. And questions, comments, you guys, let me know as always. And I look forward to seeing the next videos and doing the next one for you guys. Take care.